wow, it's just, it's just ex exploding. Um, I've always been interested in DNA. And I'm the first, as an, as an editor, I was the first person that took the risk to publish a DNA article because nobody wanted to touch it. They were just really afraid of that. And so I actually said, hey, I'm not afraid. I, you know, this is stuff that's going to happen whether we like it or not. It's not voodoo. We need to, we need to know more about this. And I, I love people who are innovators that are out there pushing the line and pushing the edge, whether it's DNA or geospatial using Google Earth. I want to be the person out there finding out the new stuff and sharing that with the world. But DNA has made a big difference for so many people. The people that I know that have been using DNA testing, they're connecting. Um, sometimes you find out that your, your DNA is different than you expected it to be. Uh, people are recognizing family relationships that they didn't know they had. Um, I know that there are, there are ethnic groups that you can you can learn things about. That DNA is really the only option we have right now because their written records aren't available to us, or if they're available, we don't know where they exist. So DNA is opening some options for people that have never had a chance before to learn about their heritage. I'm going to tell you, we actually did this little research project you might remember, um, that we were looking for a great DNA consultant to speak at one of our events, and we actually discovered Dr. Yates and asked him to participate two or three years ago. I gave Donna the assignment. I said, hey, I need a DNA, and I want a good one. Go find it. And so we worked on that and invited Dr. Yates. Has it been two years or three years? And he came and I was blown away with, with uh, first of all, um, the Jewish element in Scotland where I am mostly a Scottish person. That was very cool to me. I have some unusual surnames that we're trying to identify where they really come from. And so that, I, I, got, I bought that first book. I was so excited to see that and just begin to see some of the innovative and different approaches that Dr. Yates is using to approach DNA. And recently, the new article in, um, on the Melungeons, I wanted him to teach that class here, but it's um, still such a small sector of the research community that, that realizes there's help available beginning to come forth with that research. But he's always shown up. Uh, people love the classes, it's very they, interesting, they it, and he's doing it, some really innovative all, things, really and he's not afraid to say, share his work. He's not holding it close and saying, I'll do it when I get it perfect. He's sharing it now and, and hel helping us to understand how that can be an assistance in our research, and I'm excited about that.